I have like only 10 minutes before school starts because it's a collaboration day today, but I woke up at around 9, getting ready to go to school, and I turned on my phone, opened up the news feed, and I checked out, and I saw this really interesting piece of news coming out today. Rasmus Dahlin, along with a lot of other Swedish players, Jesper Bokfis, Oli Eriksenek, Axel Janssen, and the captain of the Swedish World Juniors team, Lias Andersson, they've all been suspended from the 2019 World Juniors. And the reason for this is because of their quote-unquote unsportsmanlike conduct following their silver medal ceremony back at the previous World Juniors. And if you want to look at the statement that they wrote out, they got the head coach, Thomas Monten, he's he's out as well, assistant coach is out, both of them it seems, and it says here that these suspensions will not go into effect for any of these players participating in the upcoming World Championship, but it will be carried over for the World Juniors in 2019. And the thing that people are really talking about, that are really getting pissed off about, is the message that they say a little bit later into the disciplinary panel explanation. In the case of the players, immediately after the silver medal was placed around their necks, and while still on the ice, all four players took the medals off and kept them in their hands for the remaining ceremony. Leas Anderson, who had been warned by the co-chairman of the championship not to take off the medal when he placed the medal around his neck, nevertheless took it off and tossed it into the stands. And that's undeniable fact. That's what happened. You can't say that's wrong. By taking off the silver medals during the closing ceremony of the 2018 IIHF World Hockey Junior Championships, immediately after the medals had been placed around their necks, the players in question violated one of the rules, and according to the rule, the silver medals are placed by the IAHF representatives around the necks of the players and the team officials, and they need to be worn around their necks in a respectful manner for the duration of the closing ceremony. And obviously, not really that um, sportsmanlike, nor is it really that respectful, and the reasoning behind the direction is actually down there at the bottom of the article, Taking off the silver medals presented to the players shown not only disrespect against the spectators and the organizers of the championship, but also the disrespect against their opponents and winners of the championship. The fact that the players afterwards have apologized for their behavior and have assured that they had no intention to be disrespectful to anyone does not excuse the action. And later on, they talk about how the players having their actions, it showcases their lack of self-control, which cannot be accepted for a player playing at that level of an important championship. And you cannot say that this is incorrect. You cannot say it's wrong. You cannot say that it's not fair. Because everything that the IIHF published in this article is 100% fact. Sure, you could give the argument, yeah, but they're just kids, this is, this is just an important tournament, you know, they really felt passionate about the game, I love it, I love that drive within them, I love that they're not able to lose and they want to win. Okay, that's fine, but you can't get pissed off about this. You can't say that this is wrong. You can't say that the IIHF doesn't have the right to suspend players for what they've done, because really, it's true. This act of taking off the medals, one of them throwing them into the stands, that is disrespectful to the game, to the organization, to the hockey sport, to the winners of the tournament, and to the fans. And you can't argue with that. Sure, Leas Anderson is a kid. Sure, Rasmus Dahlin and all them, they were young and they're eager to win. But it doesn't excuse the behavior. Not every championship team who lost in the gold medal game takes off their medals. Not everybody who loses just because you're young, not everybody throws their medals into the stands. He is young, yes, absolutely. And they are players that do want to win, but it doesn't make this right. It doesn't justify this. And the IIHF saying, okay, you're playing in our territory, you're playing under our rules, you're playing in our tournament, we don't like this, so we're gonna suspend you. All these guys got two games, Leas Anderson got himself four games. 
because, yeah, that was the big act that he did. But I totally agree with this. I'm not going to say that it was wrong for the IIHF to say this, nor will I say that it was quote-unquote necessarily wrong for the players to take off their medals. I get it. They're hot-headed and they wanted to win. But it doesn't excuse the actions. It doesn't. Because just because Leas Anderson is young doesn't mean that anybody is allowed to do that. Because they're still making decisions in their life, okay, you could give them the benefit of the doubt to justify why they did it, but it doesn't make it right. And that is exactly what this paragraph says here. These guys showed a lack of self-control, and it indicates that they have developed the wrong ambitions where only first place counts, which is absolutely in contradiction to the ideas and values of the sport. The actions of the players have to be considered as unsportsmanlike and as a breach of conduct that brings the sport of ice hockey into disrepute. They are not compatible with the idea of sport as a fair competition between the teams involved in order to determine the best team in the tournament. That's a very... That's a very harsh sentence, my goodness. The actions in question cannot be excused by disappointment or even frustration to not have won the championship. Losing a game is part of any competition and of the sport of ice hockey and does not excuse any unfair and unsportsmanlike behavior. To be frustrated by the loss of the game is not the right attitude, even at the player's age. I sort of disagree with that. I feel like it's okay to be frustrated, but the way they took out their frustration, that's not right. It's totally not right in my opinion, and again, you don't need to be a genius to figure out that you don't need to throw your medals into the audience. You keep them on, because that's the rules of the game. That's the unwritten rules about being second place in hockey. You keep the medals on, you stay out there for the ceremony, and you be respectful, because hockey is bigger than you are. These players taking off the medals and throwing them into the stands, not really abiding by the unwritten rules of losing in a championship game, these guys put themselves above the game of hockey. They put themselves above Team Canada, Team Sweden, they put themselves above everything that hockey stands for because they were putting their pride above all else. And they were saying, I'm more important than the game in front of me. I'm more important than the game that we just lost. We are more important than anything that these medals stand for. And you can't tell me that I'm wrong. You can't tell me that it was okay for them to do this, because it wasn't. And I said this even back at the beginning. I understand why they did it. It just doesn't make it the right decision to do. And it's totally fair if you want to defend these guys, but you can't say that it was unfair for the IIHF to suspend them. And hell, it's only two games for the majority of these players. Leas Anderson got four. That's not that big of a deal in my opinion. And honestly, anybody could go out there and do what Leas Anderson just did at the World Juniors, and they'd get suspended too. Any guy in a second place beer league hockey tournament, any guys going up through the midget, bantam, all those, they would get into deep trouble for doing the things that Leas Anderson did. And obviously so, because that's not something you do. I'm going to talk a little bit more. Um, my bell for school is about to go in just a few seconds here. I'm supposed to go to class. I'm in the band room recording this audio commentary right now, and it's very, very, very interesting. Um, I want to see if I can get the bell on the microphone. Let's see. All right, um, five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. That's my bell. I got five minutes to get to class, but I wanted to talk a little bit more. Um, at least it's not the world championships, right? At least Peterson. Okay, no, not Peterson. I'm not going to talk about Peterson because he wasn't involved in this whole mess. Um, at least they're still going to be able to play at the world championships. This only accounts for the world juniors next season. Some of these guys that were on the world junior team aren't even going to be on the team next year because they're going to be older. But of course, they're taking into consideration the ages and all that because... They, they did explain that some of the players were really young, a.k.a. Kokpoff, Rosmus, Dahlin, but um, they did say that a lot of the guys will be suspended for the next year's World Juniors. That is basically just assuming they're all going to be eligible next season, and it's only two games. Rosmus Dahlin is getting two games, 
and all the other guys, Leas Anderson, even four games. That's four games out of a whole World Juniors tournament. It isn't really that much, and considering Team Sweden is always pretty stacked, I don't think Sweden's got anything to worry about. But overall, this is fair. And you can't say that it's an unfair judgment for the IHF. Hope you guys enjoyed this video for plus and that's what rolls like that's saying gaming, I have to get to class, and bye. <laughs>